bringing the people behind our food to life. We are planting starts for the winter garden. We have some starts from the nursery here. These are kale and arugula. And starts are a great way to get a jump start <laughs> on the season because you don't have to deal with the seeds and all of that. These are available. They tend to be fairly economical. They come to you large and established. They go in the ground, our rains start, and you've got your winter garden going. During the winter, plants aren't growing as fast. You basically just want to give them a good start and get them in and growing during what we call our shoulder season or our second spring, September, in the Pacific Northwest. You want to get the plants in and growing and strong enough to withstand the frosts because they're not going to continue to grow through the winter. They'll just hold steady if you get them in and strong. So. So I've got six here, but each of these has a whole bunch of little plants in it. So I'm not going to put them really close together. If I were seeding, I would end up putting them very close together. So for these, kale gets to be, it can get to be a good 12, sometimes even 18 inches. You don't want it to be that big before winter comes in. You want it to be probably around, I'd say 8 to 12 inches. So. I'll try and put them about eight to 10 inches apart. So I'm gonna soften up the soil with my shovel a little bit. With starts, you have to be pretty careful of the roots. They're very, very overgrown inside there. And you wanna hold on carefully. A lot of people say pull them up by the leaf because if a leaf breaks off, the plant can still grow. If you hold them by the stem and the stem breaks, you've killed the plant. I tend to kind of just cradle the whole thing with my fingers down at the down at the base of the stem. I squeeze the cell carefully to kind of compress those roots and pull them out. And there you have it. See, that one's really root bound. Nursery starts usually are very, very root bound, which is good. Again, that's a strong plant. So I'll break up the roots a tiny bit and set it into that hole and firm the compost around it. Then I'll do it again. Kale is a cruciferous vegetable, like broccoli, like cabbage. Cruciferous vegetables are stronger in cooler weather. They can put up with less light. And after the first frost, there's some chemical reaction that their leaves or the product, usually like with broccoli, the flower, tends to be sweeter after the first frost. So not only do they have the durability and the stability to hold up through our frost and, and not so much with heavy freezes, but definitely with light snow, early frosts, hail, things like that, they can hold up. So they're harvestable longer than a lot of the other garden vegetables, but they also, their flavor gets better with the cooler temperatures. So the most important thing, once you've transplanted them, is to give them a good soaking. They're really thirsty already. They're kind of stressed because they've just come from the nursery and been ripped out of their, uh, their cradle, as it were. So now you really want to soak them, and that will give their roots good contact with the soil. It'll sort of slowly work them into their new home, and in a day or two, they should be perking up and hopefully starting to grow. So just kind of a gentle shower. Make sure that the water drains well. That's, you can tell, so you kind of get them pretty thoroughly wet, and then the water is draining really nicely, so that's good. Harvesting should be maybe, maybe a couple of weeks, depending on the weather. These are good seedlings. They've got good big leaves already. If it stays a moderate temperature, and they get regular water for about a week or two, I'd say maybe within two, maximum three weeks, you could start taking a few of the leaves. You could even pinch off. I mean, I could actually pinch off a leaf now. <laughs> there. See, so you can eat the tiny little baby leaves, but you really want them to be larger, fuller, before you start taking bunches of it. <laughs> 